I need to be able to learn from you. The same way that I'm going to teach you things, you should be able to teach me things. You should be able to provide me perspective that maybe I hadn't considered or whatever the case may be because the more heads that are being put together, you know, the better the decision making is going to be and the better our future is going to be and the better our legacy is going to be and how we raise our kids and all of these things are going to be improved drastically if we both take an active role. In yeah, yeah, so... You know the right having the right woman and obviously this doesn't apply to you know this doesn't apply if it's just somebody you you want to you know something short term but you know for a woman that is long term a girlfriend or a long term situation or even a wife for sure for sure you want to make sure that it's somebody that like trill said that you can learn from can gain knowledge from because uh, sometimes the women they see things differently than we see things as men so having a woman that can spot things out or maybe help you with your business or see different things to help you out is very beneficial versus a woman who's not doing any of that and not providing you know what I'm saying no feedback she's just there sucking up all the energy and you know what I'm saying just being a, a whole liability you know what I'm saying so that is very crucial in the decision making and not only an active role but we're both you know providing informed input toward the decision making because you're capable of doing that and I'm capable of doing that but you know when you run into somebody the way you can't learn from them eventually you'll start to resent them because you'll feel like I'm in this relationship by myself and again this goes to like a it really goes to like a bigger conversation because you know so many of us men we're just so thirsty just to lock down a woman because we we can't get nobody. When you come in from that mind frame, you know what I'm saying? You just take anything and you just you just looking at the looks. You're just looking at what's fat back there and you're just looking at how good she looks and you're just being sexualized. And a lot of times when you're coming from that mind frame, you're not even looking at it from the aspect of like, man, what can this person do for me? Because a lot of these chicks, a lot of these nines and tens be straight up airheads. You know what I'm saying? And the airhead, you're not providing me nothing. And again, if you just want something short term, that's cool. But for me, even if I want something short term, I still want somebody that I can learn from. Somebody I can be like, man, you know what? You kind of right on that. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody that can, you know, just bounce off the energy I'm providing because I know I'm gonna bring value to the table. And a lot of times, again, when you can't get past the looks, you just deal with anything, not even realize that your energy is getting drained. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important to pay attention to these things. It's nothing that you providing to this thing that's that's helping push it forward. I feel like I got to do everything. And that type of situation will break somebody. So if you can't learn from them, they shouldn't be nowhere around you. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, man, the, the woman that you have in your life long term is going to be a reflection of how you are. So if you don't have standards for yourself, if you don't know what you want, that's what you're gonna get. Versus if you're a man of principle and you know, okay, I want a woman who is not only nurturing and feminine, a woman who, who believes in my program, a woman like that is gonna be able to bring things to the table maybe that you didn't see. You know what I'm saying? And cause I remember there's been women I've dated that watch my channel and they'll, give me or maybe they'll point out a couple things that could help me or they'll give me tad bits of things that i didn't see before it's very valuable because at the end of the day you want a partner so when you have a partner it's somebody that's bringing equal value to the table so when you're a man of value you need to be able to have that value in the partner that you you're choosing that's the thing man i don't think y'all understand man like again like do not let the looks fool you because when you are with women that are not providing no value again like Trill said in the video you're going to start to you're going to start to resent them and not even want to be around them it's it's like draining your energy so again this is why it's important to to vet you know what i'm saying to vet the women that you have around you and paying attention to the things they're doing you know asking them certain questions you got to be aware of these things because a lot of times man and this is not just women, but people in general can put on a mask for a certain period of time. But it's very important to see how this person is. Can they motivate you? Can they inspire you? Because I do feel like your woman should be able to inspire you and want you to get better because she's giving you valuable advice. And in return, you giving her value as well. I think it should be a healthy, you know what I'm saying? A healthy balance between the two. But again, I can't even stress this enough, man. Like when 
you ain't had a meal in a long time, you just take anything and you neglect the, the part of, you know what I'm saying, those are just looks. What else does she have behind that? You know what I'm saying? What else does she have? Because if you look at her whole resume, you know what I'm saying, she's trash, she, she a bum. But again, you are what you decide to deal with. So if you're dealing with bums, you probably are a bum yourself. And most people are bums. And that's just what it is, point blank period. Most people are bums. Most people that you're gonna deal with in life are BUMs. And again, what's the point of being with somebody if they're not bringing no value to the table? Like when I look at, you know, when I look at Hove and Beyonce, or when I look at Savannah James and LeBron, I'm sure Savannah and Beyonce are bringing very, a, a lot of value to Hove and to Braun, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sure with them, it's that healthy balance because Braun and Hove, I'm sure are teaching Savannah and, and Beyonce things and, and vice versa, they're teaching them things. So you want a woman that can bring value to you or there's no need to be in a situation because the goal is to, 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 to really be a power couple, not to be a power couple for Instagram, but to really be a power couple. That's the real goal. And to do that, you got to make sure your vetting skills are on point. You got to make sure that you're on point because you are what you attract. So you got to make sure you're on point. That's why I say continue to focus on your mindset, continue to focus on your passions, um, having hobbies, your social life and having the whole package. So that way there's no overcompensation. And when there's no overcompensation, you won't feel the need to prove yourself to women. And when you're in that position, you're coming from a place of abundance. And when you're coming from a place of abundance, you'll be able to identify who's for you and who's not for you at the end of the day. Hey right, guys, so that's my video for today, man. I appreciate you guys as always, man. Make sure y'all continue to support, like, comment, subscribe, all of that, man. And I'm gone.